Good morning, peeps. Welcome back to another episode of Today's Angler. I'm your host, Lee Tauken. And first of business here, I would really like to give a big shout out to all you that have subscribed to us over the past four and a half years. Uh, we have made it to the 60,000 mark and over, as a matter of fact. So thank you very much for everyone. We appreciate each and every one of you for clicking that red button. If you haven't done so, consider clicking it now. Uh, it would help us out greatly. Uh, leave a comment below too, a like, a dislike, whatever. Tell us, tell us what you think. Um, and uh, while we're on the subject of tell us what you think, um, I don't know. I think people get um, have a misunderstanding about what we feel about pike, how we feel about northern pike when they when they hit our musky lures. Um, when they're the same size as the musky lures we're throwing, we don't like it. It generally hurts the fish a little more. Um, obviously, we're targeting a bigger fish, the musky, you know, 40 plus, 50 plus, whatever. So when you hook an 18, 19 inch northern pike on a big bait, we just hate doing it. So don't think we hate pike fishing, because we do not. As a matter of fact, that's what I am doing here today, uh, hopefully. Um, beautiful conditions, got a nice, uh, 5 to 10 out of the east. Water temps are 63, so we're getting down into that magic zone. And what's neat about this time of year is the pike push up shallow into the weeds, make them more accessible than they've been throughout the entire season. So let's, uh, let's get some baits in the water here, folks. All right, folks, let's get, uh, let's get our hooks dialed in here. I got a brand new freshy spinner bait this is the lee lures one ounce and this has got a number three kicker blade char a number five willow leaf what's cool about this bait is you get some incidental accidental catches on smallmouth largemouth i've even caught catfish out here on this thing uh in a perch color this is a fire tiger actually um Okay, so we got that sharpened. I'm gonna pull up into the weeds here. And I uh, actually got a brand new rod and reel, brand new setup. This is the uh, Corrado seven foot eight, extra heavy. This is what I'll be throwing sp small spinner baits on. Um, I'll be throwing uh, my Death Paws minnows, stuff like that. I got 50 pound braid, tranks, that's in the 300 high gear. That's a sweet little setup for your pike fishing or your downsized musky fishing. Oh wow, that's a struggle bus. There we go. And I've actually got a 80 pound fluorocarbon leader on here. So just kind of downsized a little. Get her drag set. Look at that little, doesn't get much easier than a spinner bait over the weeds. Drag is ready. My line is dry, so I'm gonna go easy that first cast. And then dip the rod tip in the water, get that line wet. That's pretty key uh, to not getting backlashes. I always go easy that first cast. So you don't get a uh, backlash, that wet line will fly too quick off the reel. And then you'll have a mess, I get it. You get so excited and you're just getting out fishing and then you throw a backlash that first cast, so. That is the reason why, there we go. Now I'm all dialed, wetted down, ready for a pike. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch it up. Um, the water's kind of dirty actually, so maybe it'd be a better choice to have a slightly bigger blade. Let's see here. Yeah, I got the same color bait in a ounce and a half head, which has a four kicker and a uh, number seven willow. So just upsize a bit here. Of course, we gotta get our hooks sharpened. Gotta have a good sharpener to do these spinner bait hooks. This one looks a little bad, but it's actually not too bad. There we go. All right, so a little more thump, a little more vibration. We'll give that a whirl with this 
a little bit more stained water. Sometimes it's clearer this time of year. All right, a little bigger, bigger bait, bigger fish, right? There we go, I'm on, first cast. First cast. I think it's a small pike, but it is a fish. First cast. Yep, just a little pike, but that's a good sign for uh, what they might want is a little more vibration. First pike apprehended, and he's a little guy, but you know what? Look how thick he is across the back. These things get really big out here. Okay, that seemed to work. Been slimed. Get it on my bibs here. There we go. And we're on. Man, no love on the spinnerbait. First cast, pike, and nothing. I got something that might be of interest. A little perch death paws. That's probably what they're eating out here. It's a five and a half inch size. Let's try something different here. There we go. There's a pike. Death paws. First 10 feet of the retrieve. That feels pretty decent. Definitely better than that other one. Oh, it's a bass. Holy crap. Look at the size of this thing. You're going to hook me, aren't you? I'm going to hoist you. There we go. That is a bucket and a half. Spot lock here. Holy crap, look at that. Yep, and there's the bluegills right here. Look at that. Bluegill, bluegill. Nice chunky largey. Yeah, that's probably knocking on four. Not quite, but definitely upper threes. Okay, well, we'll take that, the incidental catch. It's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Perch, death paws minnow. I can't believe how much this bait has turned into such a staple bait for us. Everywhere we go, all species, pretty awesome. All right, so I spot locked here on this spot, going to... Uh, Work it out, see if there's a couple more fish in this locale. I was positive that was a pike, had some big head shakes, but it wasn't. I got some weeds there. I don't think I got them off either. Nope. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just had another one. Dang it. Oh, there he is. He got, I, I got him. Ha <laughs> ha, he came back for it. Definitely a school of largies here. I've been marking stuff on the side image too, so definitely some fish around here. Okay, I guess I'll take some bass. A little smaller. Definitely smaller than the last one, but cool boat side bite. Got to see that thing eat it right there. Gonna need a pliers here. Definitely eat the head of it, but the other hooks obviously get hooked underneath. Smaller one, but decent fish. Just let that bait sit right out in front of me after I missed them, and I watched it come up and eat it. So flipping cool. Okay. Something's happening. I'm gonna sit here and uh, catch some bass, I guess. Hopefully. A couple, anyway.
Oh my gosh, that thing hit it. Holy cow, huge bucket. Big largey. Rear hook, that's all I got in her. I might actually net this one. Thing is a beast. Holy cow. That is a beast. Don't come off. Got her. Oh my gosh, that thing is a flipping football. Holy crap. Okay, I guess we're largemouth fishing today. Need my net holder here. Always make sure you got somewhere to put put the net so you can go hands hands free. That was totally on the death pause. What a sick eat. Let that thing sit right in front of me where I knew that school was sitting and she just clobbered it. Oh my gosh, the thing's over five. This thing is a monster. Just that rear hook. She was not coming off though. It's locked in there pretty good. Okay, I'm actually gonna get the big camera for this one. All right, folks, that was on the five and a half inch death pause minnow. Like I was saying before, just an incredibly effective bait for, uh, for pretty much everything. Pike, bass, musky, Bass or carp jumping behind me, I'm not sure what. Holy smokes, look at that. That thing is a football of all footballs. Look at that giant largey. Holy crap. It's not even that long, it's just so tall, so fat. On that big bait, gorgeous fish. Get her back. See how many more are here? Look at that, that thing is amazing. Wow. That was fun, I'm not going to deny. I don't get to bass fish enough. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's see if there's some, let's see if there's some more here. All right, I'm going to show you how I'm working this bait. Hopefully I can get rudely interrupted by another five pound largemouth. I'm just going to reel it down till I get in the zone and I'm just going to kind of twitch, reel, twitch, twitch, just kind of alternate one, one, two like that then i'm gonna pause it just let that thing sit right in the zone that's when i caught that five pounder was on that big pause right about where i'm sitting right now sit sit pause pause come on eat it the one bummer about filming is i had to stop and the school has maybe turned off now uh, catching one can often excite the school and get them get them feeding get them frenzy get them crazy so I had to stop. Let's see if I can hook another one and get that school rolling again. But that was definitely, definitely some quality size fish. Pause, pause, come on, eat that thing. Right there, right there, come on. Work it all the way back to the boat. I'm actually sitting over the weed, so I may be even a little close to it. Come on supposed to do it on cue. Yeah, the unique thing about this bait, uh, for one, it's hand carved, handmade cedar, cedar wood bait, but it's tank tested to be neutrally buoyant with a very light uh, musky leader. Um, this is 80 pound fluoro. This is uh, about the heaviest leader I'd use with it. Um, sometimes I'll even use like 27 pound single, uh, seven strand wire. That works too, but neutrally buoyant that's the key just you get that thing down where you want it and then you just stop and it just hangs right in front of their face like that such an a uh, deadly technique ever since the advent of the husky jerk and the suspending rogue back in the day man have accounted for just some incredible bites with that neutrally buoyant bait Huge pike just rolled up. Of course, there's a flipping weed on my bait. Dang it. Holy crap. I'm just going to drift past this and uh, pull back out 
and go back into the wind and throw at that again. Man, that was a huge fish. I had a freaking weed on my bait. Just wouldn't eat it. It was right there at both sides. No way you could see it, I'm sure, of course. Oh my gosh, that thing hammered it. Dink pike. Perfect. Wow. Kind of lost my real hand on that one. That was embarrassing. I was worried this camera was going to fall here and I wasn't really holding on to it. Okay, moving right along. Right species, wrong size. On the pause though, that thing was just sitting there hanging in his face and he couldn't say no. There we go. There we go. That one socked it pretty decent. Walleye. What on earth? Like I was saying, bass, pike, walleyes. That's what you can expect when you're throwing a multi-species bait like that. Ooh, get away from that eyeball. Okay, nice little chunk of a walleye. Okay, no big pike. So I just went in a big circle here. I accidentally turned the troll on. Now the species down on the uh, death paws minnow. Large mouth, almost landed that small mouth, pike, and walleye, and weeds. Hey everyone, you can tell by the looks of today that I was not able to accomplish catching any decent pike that day. Caught a couple of dinks, but uh, got some nice bass, so that was pretty cool. Um, it's a couple of weeks later. The conditions are considerably different. We got northwest winds 10 to 15 today, and uh, it's a lot colder. Uh, water temps uh, looking at 56 right now. Uh, I looked on the website for this particular lake. It looks like the water temperature is pretty even throughout the column. So I'm guessing turnover uh, could be done, is almost done. Uh, whatever the case, um, cold fronts and pike go hand in hand. So I'm going to try it again, see if I can get this pike shoot done. Uh, hopefully get a couple bass too. Sometimes this time of year um, with this kind of weather, especially the heavy clouds, I'll get some of the hugest smallmouth of the year. Uh, on the pike bait so that's a cool little bonus hopefully that'll happen uh let's go cast all right folks gonna be starting out again with the uh one ounce lee lures uh will leaf spinner bait in the one ounce size um got a number five willow and a uh, number three kicker on there got an 80 pound fluorocarbon leader and that's tied to 50 pound power pro super slick v2 on the brand new check this out the brand new corrado seven foot seven inch excuse me seven foot eight uh it's hard to read it's pretty small uh that's a five eighths to two ounce rating extra heavy um with the uh excuse me the uh yeah struggling here tranks 300 hg so the high speed tranks I'm um, going to make sure my drag is set where it will give. I don't want it locked. I never fish, basically never fish a locked drag. Maybe just with uh, rubber or big bucktails. But then I'll back out off right away when I get a fish on. So that's what I'll be starting out with. We'll get this line wetted down. Cast easy. That first cast. There we go. 
water clarity looks perfect. I'm going to bet turnover is over now. So pretty happy about that. Hopefully the fish will be happy as well. Let's see here. Yeah, I can see that spinner bait down definitely farther than I did on my last outing out here a couple of weeks ago. There we go. I'm on. First cast. First cast. Feels like a bass, actually. Or a small pike. First flip and cast. It is a uh, pike. There he goes. Small one. We got to look at him. We got a head shake. Got a little fight. And we didn't have to touch him, so all good there. First cast, though. I like that. Sometimes, though, that's a bad, bad omen. So we will see what happens here. Yeah, that was cool. There we go. That, that's a nice bass. <laughs> Another bass. I had not had any action other than that first bite on the spinner bait. Switched to the Death Paws Minnow five and a half. And immediately, first cast again, get a bite. So what's that mean? I gotta switch lures every cast? Oh, it's a, no, it's actually a, it's a nice gator. Good one. Oh yeah, finally. Don't come off. That's a nice fish. Oh, no, 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 don't shake, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Nice fish. Whew. There we go. Look at that death paws minnow. You can see the head of it. That's it. The lip. That's about it. Holy crap. That thing eat it. I'm gonna try to get this thing out quickly here. All right, folks are on the board. The first 15 minutes of fishing here. Uh, let's get a look at this pipe. Certainly not a giant by, by any means, but uh, for sure a quality fish and fun on that uh, little bit lighter gear nice fat looking one they're so much bigger out here 15 minutes in cold front look at the skies here hopefully we can catch one of those elusive 40 inch fish nice healthy one you had that thing choked yeah you're gone <laughs> perfect I've officially been slimed. Pretty happy about that. Probably hearing me sniffle all the time. I'm just getting over a cold, but uh, I feel pretty damn good right now. Oh God. Dang it, man. Just got flipping hammered. There we go, there we go. Taking me down in the weeds. What do we got? There's no way this is alive. I think it is though. Oh, he's hooked weird. Yeah, you can see the mark behind his head and just hooked him again. Kind of a little runt for here. But I'll take a bite. Actually, I just missed one about three, four casts before that. Got some cabbage in here, some milfoil. Oh my God. Another one. Holy crap, on the paws, just coming off the edge of the weeds. Man, that thing just clobbered. All right, let that thing sit right on the edge of the weeds there. See if it comes back for it. Come on, can't even believe I missed that. Nice pike. God, just missed it. All right, here we go. Gonna throw it out about 30 feet, reel it down, get it down in the zone. Let that pause do the work. Come on, come up and eat that thing. Saw her just roll at that bait. Probably the same size as that other nice one I got. 
Oh, jeez. That one socked it. Holy cow. On the pause, those took, took the rod handle, real handle out of my hand. Looks like a largey. Little mixed bag. There we go. Decent fish. Headshot, that's what you want. Decent fish, fat. Love this time of year. There we go, another one. What do we got? What do we got? Walleye. Nice little walleye. That'll work. Nice little weagle, legal walleye. Weagle. <laughs> nice little legal walleye here. There we go. Nice fish. Probably 19, maybe 20. All right. That was interesting. Hit on the pause as usual. Perfect fish, other than it's not a pike. I'll take some bycatches, not picky. Just to give you an idea of the spot, it's basically a drop off, goes from 10 to 20. I'm um, throwing up to about eight feet of water over some weeds, some milfoil, cabbage, and whatnot. And as far as working this bait, I'm just kind of keeping it pretty high in the column because the weeds come up fairly good. Just kind of twitch, reel back to the slack, to the bait, boom, boom, boom. Twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. Really just kind of, a lot of it you can do with the reel handle. You don't really need a whole lot of rod ripping, but I kind of just do a combination of both just like this. Pretty much hitting it on the pause every now and then. I'll just give it a real long pause three, two, one, rip, longer pause. Especially when I get towards the where I know is the edge of the weeds, I really like to slow it down there in case there's uh, you know something big or whatever just sitting right on the edge of the brake line. Seems to be working pretty good. I've actually you haven't seen, but I've missed quite a few of them. I've I bet I've missed a half dozen bites. So, fairly active. Wind kind of calmed down after that rain. I don't know if that's good or not, but continuing to get a few bites. Need a big gator though. And why do you people out there, some of you, hate when we say gator? It's a big alligator. It's a northern pike alligator. If we want to call him a gator, we can call him a gator. Holy cow, that thing is so fat. Oh man, oh come on, come on girl. One, one more and we're good. Oh my gosh, that thing is ridiculously fat. Whew. That's what I've been waiting for. It's been kind of quiet other than I've actually been getting some smallmouth follows and a couple bites they did pop them a little bit the bait but did not get hooked up holy man my recording yeah good 
All right, peeps, this is the size of animal I've been looking for. It's not super long, but it is just so incredibly fat. Got that on the poltergeist perch, death paws minnow. You've seen it before. Uh, it's just so deadly. Uh, perfect size minnow bait, five and a half inch. Fish stop and go, jerk paws, jerk paws. Holy crap, what do you see this thing? It is so fat. Like I said, it's not a super long fish, but look at the girth on that pike. It is just beautiful, amazing. These fish put on so much weight in the fall. They prefer the cool water period uh, from now all the way through, through ice season actually, but man, just incredible gut on that fish. Look at that. Whew. Love these pike. That thing is so heavy for its length. Oh man, still got a few hours yet today. Finally got the size of fish I've been looking for. Just want one a little longer now. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. That is seriously, thing has got an eating problem. Yeah, that's how they go. Whew, that was fun. That's what I've been waiting for. Now I've been slimed and I like it. Big bass, swiped at it, missed it, swiped again and got him, oh my gosh. Nice one, not giant, it's really darn nice though. Holy cow. Oh, I barely got him hooked. I'm afraid to hoist him. Afraid to get hooked too though. Ah, there we go, nice. Nice, nice. All right, here's the wind. Things are coming together. Finally catching some fish, man. It's been struggle bus for Lee as of late. That'll work. There we go, good one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one's got some weight. Oh yeah. That one's got some weight. That one ain't moving. That's a big gator. Oh no, the bait came out of its mouth. Dang it. It snagged. That She definitely ate it. It just came out. Oh, real skinny one. Big head. Real skinny. That thing definitely ate it, but I just, I didn't get a good hook set and sure enough, it came out of its mouth. I just spot locked here now. Let's see if I can, of course she wants to go to the other side of the boat. She's pretty big though. Get out from under the boat. Yeah, she's skinny, old. Looks like she might even be blind in one eye. Come on, come to the other side. I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to get you. Come here. Yeah, she's, she's been around the block. Come here. Come on. Yeah. If she was fat, she'd be putting up a heck more of a fight than this. She's just not super healthy. Snag them and drag them guide service. Yeah, there were, I could feel the head shakes at first and then I thought I lost it. And then I hadn't lost it. Yeah, that's a big one, but man, is she thin. Holy cow, that is a big one though. All right, you ready for a skinny pike? Yeah, this thing is rough. Definitely a recycled pike. Look at that thing. It is long. Her eye's good on this side, not on that side, I don't believe. Looks good this side. Wow, that is a gnarly old fish. It's gotta be probably 38, I bet. 37, yeah, probably 38. Just a tube though. Very cool, long and lanky. It's like a serpent pike. All right, we'll get her back. There she goes. Yeah, she needs some food. I don't know, she could have a hook stuck in her, you know, somewhere in her digestion system or whatever, but still a nice fish. Another one, the poltergeist perch, five and a half. Death paws. Got my hooks all 
janky here. And these are only number two hooks. They're not, you know, they're made more for bass or smaller pike or whatever. So you got to change them out after a number of fish or whatever. They get bent up. It's just the bait works the best with this weight of hook. Uh, the, so that's why we use the lighter uh, bass flipping gear like this or basically a, a frog rod or whatever that uh, works pretty good for these fish and it's fun to fight them too you know on this lighter gear they are just they're eating it out from the boat these things are biting the bait they are not messing around now yeah that one definitely had it in its mouth the first few shakes and then i felt the bait evacuate the mouth and they were sharp enough to find a find a mark somewhere on it all right cool